Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do now in this episode is we're going to create basically an article factory since by default we have a user factory and then we're just going to create two seeders, the article seeder and the user seeder and then we can put them in here. Now the reason for that is just to get us data in the database so we can quickly work with that data to receive that data and then we're going to use Postman or you can use Insomnia in a couple of episodes from now, but we need to create, create our controllers and routes first okay, before we do that. All right, so let's quickly open up our terminal and let's quickly create our uh, factory. So PHP artisan and make factory. Okay, so in this case, factory. All right, so now we've got our article factory and then just press enter. Okay, so that's got factory created. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to basically create the two seeders or article seeder in our uh, user seeder. So let's click the article. So you can do article seeder like this, or in my case, I'm just going to do article stable seeder like this. All right, so that's my preference of how I like to do it. So that's the article seeder. The next one is I'm just going to do this for the users table seeder okay awesome stuff right so now we've got our factory and then we call it basically our article seeder in our user seeder all right so let's quickly go there and the database factories you will see we got our article factory right here so what i want to do in here is i want to create the title i want to set the title as a variable because what I want to do is when I set the slug, I want the slug to be the same as the title, but obviously in a slug format, and so that it will all be the same. Otherwise, the slug will be you different to the basically the title. All right, so this, and let me just gonna set it this faker and sentence, all right, just like that. All right, so there's the title. So let's quickly set the title, and the title is gonna equal to basically the variable title this one right here and the slug is going to equal uh, do this the slug is going equal to a string we're going to, have to use laravel helper and we're just going to set it to a slug and then we just pass in the title like that okay so the next thing is the body and we're going to say use faker again so this uh, faker and what we want to do is we want to set that to a paragraph. Now, the thing is, by default, as you can see, there are three sentences. You can obviously set that to six, eight, ten, whatever you want to do. Right. So the next thing is this is the author ID. Now, the thing about the author ID is so let me just quickly open up our articles right here. So let me just uh, migration. So articles migration. So as you can see, we have a foreign ID of articles right here. It's not a nullable field because we want every article to basically belong to someone. If the field was nullable, we would have added it like that. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to basically get the attributes. Attributes. Let me just do this. Attribute like this. Now. In this case, what I want to do is I want to add the author ID like this. Okay, so if I don't pass in the author ID, I want to basically just create a user uh, factory. Okay, so basically if we don't pass in the author ID, like in the attribute like this, okay, then basically create a new user for us. All right, so that's basically our article factory all set up. So our user factory, we don't need to do anything in here. Everything is good stuff. All right, so let's move on to our article seeder right here. All right, so now the thing is, we're just going to bring in, let me just make sure, let's go to our factory again, article. Let's make sure we import everything. Just make sure you import the string and the user. Otherwise, you're going to get an error when we start seeding the database. Right, let's go into article seeder. What we want to do is we want to bring in the article, uh, article model. Just make sure you import it, as you can see right there. And what we want to do is we want to run the factory, and we just want to run a count. How many articles? We want to run 10. And what we want to do now is we want to call a create method on there, and we want to pass in the attribute. Now, in the attribute that we want to pass in is the author ID. Just remember, the factory is expecting an attribute. If not, it will just create a user. Now, in this case, the factory ID or author ID of what? Right, so what we basically saying here is 
all on the factory, okay, create 10 articles, but create them with the author ID of 1. Right, so let's move on. So now we're going to create this author ID of 1, is this one right here. Okay, so in this case, what I want to do, let me just do this. We want to set the user basically to a variable. Okay, and then we're just going to say user. Let's just make sure we import the user right there. And what we want to do is we want to call create on it. All right. Now, there's a couple of things we need. We need to use the name and the email. Right. So in this case, it will be the name. And we can set that to John Doe. I think that's a good name. John Doe. Because that way you don't offend anybody. The next one is the email. And we can just set that to John as example. Okay, let's just do that. All right, and the next one is the password. Now, the thing about the password is when you save it in a database, always make sure that you encrypt the password, right? So that nobody can actually just go to your database if your database is breached, that they cannot access the user's records in order to actually just basically go in it unless they decrypt the passwords. Now, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to use bcrypt to actually save the passwords in the database. All right, so encrypt it. So in this case, we're just going to say password. All right, so this is the actual password, but we're going to encrypt it. All right, so that's basically the user right now. I saved it to a variable. The reason for that is because we're going to use Sanctum, all right, in order to basically create a token for this user. All right, so in this case, what I want to do is I want to say user, all right, and then I'm just going to call a create token, a token like this. In this case, I'm just going to call the token John Doe, and, and we're going to save it basically as a plain text token in the database. All right. Now, this basically where it comes from. Let me just do this actually. So, where this is coming from. So, if we go to our migrations, let's move, go there quickly. Now, as you can see, personal access token right here. All right. So, this is basically where it's going to save it. So, it just save the name. In this case, the name is John Doe. It will save it as a string and, 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 and last use that. Okay. So, that's all the good stuff. So, what it's going to do for us. So it's just going to create that token. And after that, I just want to create, let me just call in that factory of the user, so factory. And what I want to do, I just want to create five additional users. Okay, so count, and we just say five, and then we just got 50. And then we just want to call the create on it. Right, so this token, when we're going to use Postman, we're going to use this token, basically, of this user to basically uh, give them access to our API. All right. So let's close this off. Now, the next thing what we want to do in our database seeder right here, we just want to call on those two seeders. Okay. So we can just say this call. All right. And then in this case, we're going to call on the articles, the seeder, table seeder. Call it there. And we just call on the class. That's the first one. Now, before we call that, let's call actually the user. So this dot call, and then we're just going to call on the user table seeder. That one right there. Right, so that's the order we're going to run them in. Right, so we're going to get the user table seeder, and then we're just going to get the article seeder right there. Right, so that's basically it. Uh, let's now what we can do is we can migrate the database and just seed it. All right, so open up your terminal in this case PHP artisan migrate, and we just want to say fresh test test seed like that. All right, so basically it created all the tables. So the user table, it created our personal access token for Sanctum right there. It got our resets. That's the default ones, and then we got our articles table right here, and we got our user seeder in our Article seeder all done. Right, so let's quickly go to our database. So in our database right here, if we go to let's refresh this. Right, so we go to our table. As you can see, we've got 10 articles and we've got six users right there. Because remember, the first one is John Doe. So let's just go there. So as you can see, we've got John Doe in here with its password right there and 
than the other five users that we created. All good. So let's quickly go to the other one the, on the articles right here. So as you can see, we got all our articles, and as you can see, we got our authors right here. Okay, awesome stuff. Now the next thing, let's just close this off. If we go to our personal access tokens right here, so as you can see, we got app models user with our filter, and this is the filter John Doe's. This is the name that we keep given our token right there. And as you can see, this is basically the token that I'm talking about right here that we created. Right, so let's just quickly go to this part right here in our article seeder, no, user seeder. So this token right here is the one that I'm referencing in here. The John Doe, as you can see, we created John Doe. So if I named this something else, it would have been the name would have been something different right there. Okay, awesome stuff. So that's at the end of this episode, guys. So if you liked the video, please give it a like. Then see you in the next one. Adios.